Hey buddy, it's me again, Kale. Here once more playing Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. Last time we left off, we learned that, well, the crew, aside from Renoa, all knew each other in an orphanage back in the day, before they all went to their respective gardens or adopted families. Even Cypher was there. And now we're going to continue to learn a bit more about that. Go talk to Quistus. Seemed like she was a little shocked. I don't remember. The orphanage is located... Hmm. Hmm. It's getting out of hand. It's getting way too much. I misunderstood love. Actually, I'd completely given up when Renoa came to the picture. Hey. Uh, it must be the same for Cypher. I'm sure Cypher has forgotten his childhood, too. Whenever he sees Squall, his inner feelings start to boil, and... Is that why he's always picking fights with Squall? I said that we forgot. We grew up together as kids. How is that possible? How about this? The price we pay for using the GF. GF provides us its power. GF needs its own place inside our brain to do that. So you're saying that the area is where our memories are stored? No, that's just a rumor the GF critics are spreading. So if we're relying on GF, we won't be able to remember a lot of things? There's no way Headmaster Sid would allow such a dangerous thing. And how is it that I remember while everyone else forgotten? In my case, I had junction of GF until recently. So I remember a lot more than you guys. How about you, Selfie? Your first experience with the GF was when you came to Balam Garden, right? Yeah. Um... Is that why other forces refrain from using GF? We gave up our memories in exchange for power. Eh, to be fair, there's some things you're better off not remembering. Especially when your life revolves around battle. What do you mean? You know, I don't normally choke, Squall. confession to make. When I was 12, I went in an outdoor training session. I had a GF inside of one of the monsters I defeated. I had a junction on that GF for a while, so I do have experience with GF too. But it's really weird. I can't remember the name of that GF. It must be the GF's fault. What should we do? What should we do? Nothing. What, the, what do you mean, nothing? So what do you want to do? Want to stop using the GF now? Why don't we continue to fight? We're indebted to the powers of the GF. There's a price I have to pay for that. I'll gladly pay it. Yeah, I know. Let's all keep diaries. That way, we'll always have something to remind us. Are you sure that's what you want? Oh, maybe that's for the best. Yeah, I don't care if I forget my childhood. Cypher was a dick back then. What's important to me now is having the power to protect my parents in Balam. They adopted me. There's no way I'm letting that go to the back. There's no way I'm letting go of that power. Hey. Do you all remember Matron? Ah, oh, hell, here we go. She was always wearing black. Matron dressed in black, she... Let's see... Very kind. Long black hair. I really admired her. See her resemblance. Matron. They look alike. 
Wait, I just pictured her face and... Oh. No, that's not it. <sighs> Matron's name is Adia Kramer. Matron is Sorceress Adia. Matron... Sorceress? Is the Matron. Why? You're wondering why Matron would take over a country, fire missiles and whatnot? At this point, we probably wouldn't even comprehend it, even if we talked about it. Probably right. Now, hear me out. Seed and Garden were all Matron's idea, right? I ain't a seed. I share the same feeling with all you. So you're supposed to fight the sorceress, right? This is strange. So I was being tortured by Cypher. He wanted to know about what Seed was. Matron should know. Matron is sorceress idea. No denying that. What does it mean? Squall, you listening? So this is what I wanted to say. <sighs> How to word it. Mm. I understand what Renoa's saying. I understand. But still, I'm gonna fight. I wanna stay true to everything I've stood for. Sure, the same for all y'all. That's why I thought it'd be best if everyone knew who would had, we would have to face the matron. You've all heard this before. My life has infinite possibilities. I don't believe that one bit. There aren't many paths for me to choose. Sometimes there'd only be one. In the limited possibilities I faced. Choices I've made have brought me this far. That's why I value the path I chose. I want to hold true to the path that had to be taken. I know our opponent is Matron. We all love very much. I might lose something very important on account of the GF. I don't mind. It's not like I drifted here on tides of fate. I'm here because I chose to be here. More importantly, we all grew up together. Through the various circumstances, we were all separated. As a kid, I couldn't really go out of your go out on your own. No other path to take. All I did was just cry. But. Somehow we're together again. Just like old times. <laughs> well, a lot's changed. We're not kids anymore. We're strong enough to take care of ourselves. Make our own decisions. Confronting a big one right now. We fight, Matron? Or not? I say we fight. Shoot for a common goal. At least it'll keep us together a little longer. Yeah. Let's do it. Can't run from her for the rest of our lives. It's just such a bummer. Can't believe we fight Matron. I know. But Zell's right. We can't run from her forever. Renoa. It's up to you. We're gonna fight. It's the only way we can move on with our lives. If that makes any sense at all, come with us. I'm sure that's what everyone wants. Look, look! A gift from the fairies! Selfie, you know that we are the fairies, right? Oh. Check out Adia's orphanage. I wonder what it's like now. 
I might find a clue. Clue? You missed why Matron turned out like this? Probably to do with something that happened in the past. Past of the past. It's over. Done with. Despite what truth we find, it's not going to change the present. But. I want to see too. I don't know what we'll find. Let's head to Adia's house. Hell yeah! Let's shoot for something. We can do this. Alright, everyone. Let's prepare and move out. I guess that's it. We're fighting. Guys are fearless. Fearless? I don't think that's quite right. If you think too hard, you become lost. And that's everyone's afraid of. I wish we didn't have to fight either. Hmm. Actually, who is most appropriate for this battle? I feel like Irvine kind of has a stake in it all, but... Selfie want him revenge. Yeah, come along, Selfie. That being said, I kinda wanna make a pit stop or two before we head before we head over to Dia's house. Cause just a heads up, shit gonna go crazy when we get to Dia's house. Come on. Stupid. Ah, God. Nita, can't you do anything about the Turn radius on this thing? I'm sorry, it's not like it's four-wheel drive or anything. No, look, blame the FH technicians. They only gave me so much range of motion. Though, to be fair, we are piloting a goddamn building. Who the hell did you learn to back sass like that? Uh, sorry, sir. No, it's fine. Where's the beachfront on this thing? I know there's a beach on this thing. It's not just accessible by air. Which, by the way, we will get an airship eventually. I promise you. Oh, there it is. On the goddamn side of this peninsula. Ah, gobble. Argle, bargle. This weird place. This place is just here. Hey! Welcome to Shumi Village. If you wish to go to the village, take the front elevator at the bottom level. There are precious spells at this drop point. You must pay if you wish to draw from it. <laughs> For 5,000 gil. Sure. Go right ahead. Gimme! Yeah, 15! Cha ching Well worth the 5,000. Now. Does that make it better than Quake yet? No. But, just look how much that is for only 28 Ultimas. It's pretty impressive. Let's be real here. That's fucking great. Oh yeah, uh, did I ever set anybody up to farm? No, I didn't. Okay, um... Ooh, speed? Yeah, brother. Uh... You know how we're primarily a strength GF. That's unfortunate. Well, the speed will be pretty dope. Um, 
Is anybody missing uh, Elemental Junction? You have it. I have two of them and I haven't even set them up yet? What the fuck is wrong with me? Damn, Ultima. Yeah, sure, just make me in fucking destructible, okay? Cool, man. Two. Right. I guess. Um I find a right way to refine full lives, you know? Please have a seat. Squall, where are we going? I have no idea. Why are we going there? Welcome to Shumi Village. You have been specially permitted here. I hope you will know, reach the village entrance soon. I mean, they seem to be welcoming us, so... That seems nice. Hello and welcome. Specialist is surprised they let you in. Usually only merchants are permitted to come into the village. This is our negotiation table. This is where we exchange minerals with outside traders. You mine for minerals? Of course. We built a village 323 meters underground just for fun. <laughs> Actually, there was a little fun in it. See, that's the kind of that's the kind of outlook you need on life. This music. Hello there. Can you see me? Uh, hold on a second. Overcome difficulties with effort and ingenuity. That's the Shumi way. So, we'll be spending the night. Uh, sure. Oh my god! I got a little mumble light. It's great. Hmm? Well, that's fantastic. I don't see a Timber Maniacs here, though. That's odd. Well, this place seems peaceful. Get in there. That's fine. Ooh. Mamba! Hi, buddy. Can I get to that draw point? No? Okay, that's fine, buddy. I understand. Froggo! Oh, here's another issue of the Timber Maniacs. Sick. You're an outsider. Most of us here don't have a good impression of the outside world, but Artisan knows there are some good things about it. Once, Artisan stopped by a hopelessly foul wasteland, met with a wonderful group of people called Artisans. We have the same souls, the Artisans and the Shumis. That alone, the fact that there are people like them out in the outside world, makes your world worthy. Since then, the artisans have had a major influence on my work. Take a look at this, for example. And another? Huh. Neat models. Will all seem incredibly good natured. I 
busy, busy. Oh my god, you guys, they worship an idiot. Looks like Laguna. Wait. You know Master Laguna? Well, sort of. This is Laguna Loy. Long ago, Mumba found this man lying near our village, covered with blood, and carried him to our village. It appeared that he had slipped off, slipped and fallen off of a cliff. Wait, was this the first or a different time? Does he fall off a lot of cliffs? You should go talk with the elder. Sculptor insists that you go speak with him. Alright, we'll go talk to the elder. Excellent. For a foreigner, you have a big heart. The sculptor will tell the Moomba guarding the entrance to let you pass. Alright. Raise Moombas in this village? Raise? Moomba is one of many final forms that we Shumis take. Final form? Yes! This is not even my final form. You don't know? Excluding ones qualified to become elders, all Shumis evolve at a certain stage of our lives. We become what is in our hearts. Often, those who fail to become honorable elders turn into Moombas. The passionate ingenuity in their hearts gives rise to the red hair. It's common knowledge. It's kind of surprised you didn't know. Worried about becoming a beast? Beast? How dare you! Call the beasts! Yes, the ones who become elders are remarkable people, but. Call them again? Beasts! Did you not see their noble feathers? Their noble features? Their gem like eyes revealing innocence. Their bright red hair symbolizing passion. <laughs> Spectacular hair signifying power, their soothing, adorable cries, their mighty hands with incredible strength, their proud postures demanding respect. Everything about them is great. Okay, alright. And when your big mouth. I'm bored. <laughs> it's so cozy here. Ooh, Firaga! All you, Selfie! Why are they building a statue to this fucking moron? Counting for taste, I guess. Let's go see the elder. I like Laguna. He's neat. I know, Selfie. Oh, hi, buddy. Look at his big paws. He's a majestic beast. We appreciate your coming forward. Since you have come here. Since you have come here. You must know Master Laguna. Thank you for coming. Allow me to talk about Master Laguna for a moment. It was about 17 years ago when we found him injured. He was on his way to Esther to save a girl named Alone. Who had been abducted by Esther's soldiers. Hmm. So the second time. Got it. He stayed here for a short while until his injuries healed. During his stay, he tried to teach Amumba how to speak. Why? He told me that he felt sorry for the Mumbas because they don't know any words. He said that words are useful and precious. I believe that Mumbas don't need to know words the important things can be communicated without them. 
Perhaps we don't need words either. Even Master Laguna was not very good with words. His communication skills were horrible. I can agree with that. But we still understood what he desperately wanted to say. How eager he was to save Alone. His eyes, more than his words, told us this. That's all I have to say. Why are you building a statue of him? You find it strange, yes? <laughs> I doubt you will understand. We believe that Master Laguna has a special something. That something is the power to attract people. We still don't know what it is, so we decided to build a statue of him. It felt that we may come to understand why Master Laguna is so special by doing this. To be fair, there's a lot of study to figure out how special Laguna is. That bumbling clown. I better not say something. Please excuse my humble abode. You have some really nice fish, sir. A moment. We would like to present you with a gift since you came all this way. But in Shumi, one must work to earn anything. This is our way. I have an idea. Please assist my attendance in the workshop that I can present you with a gift. Where is it? Here's where you saw Master Laguna's statue. We want to finish that statue as soon as possible. Alright. Well, we'll give these guys a helping hand next time. Hope you all enjoy yourselves. We do a bit of side questing before we head off to, uh, to learn a bit more about the past. And if you are, please send a double like, comment, subscribe. We'll come back next time. How about around the village? Till then, you'll have yourself a private day. We'll see you next adventure. Later.